Greetings, I'm Les Pollard, president of Oakwood University. One of the things that many of my friends here on campus know that I love to do is to share proverbs. I collect them from all over the world. I love proverbs, and I'm not just talking about the book of proverbs, which are the inspired proverbs in the word of God, but I'm actually talking about proverbs that come from different communities and different cultures and different places. And, and I've got some wonderful proverbs. And so I was asked by the group to just share a few of them as introductions to today's activities. So here is one. While this one is not strictly a proverb, it's a saying by one of my favorite political authors. His name was Pablo Neruda. And he said, as he was being chased out of Chile by the government at that time, he wrote something very powerful. He wrote it in Spanish, but I'm translating it into English. He said to the government that time, after he had escaped the uh, government oppression, he said, you can cut down all the flowers, but you cannot stop the coming of the spring. We here at Oakwood University believe that every time a student comes to Oakwood University, springtime has arrived. In August of 2020, there will be students from across the country and around the world who will come, whom Satan has tried to cut down during this time of coronavirus pandemic. But Satan may try in every way that he can. The forces of evil may try to block them and stop them. He may afflict them. You can cut down all the flowers, said Neruda, but you cannot stop the coming of the spring. Oakwood University has a long legacy of being those who help usher in the spring. We did so in 1962, when a young preacher was banned from speaking anywhere on any state campus in, in Alabama. And yet there was one place that received him in March of 1962. It was Oakwood University at Ashby Auditorium when a young preacher previewed his now famous sermon, I Have a Dream. His name was Dr. Martin Luther King. And you know the course of his journey. You know what happened. How he was shot down August 4th, 1968 in Memphis, Tennessee. But again, I'm reminded of what Neruda said. You may cut down all the flowers, but you cannot stop the coming of the spring. When I look at all of the marches that are taking place right now in our world, marches for justice, for peace, for fairness, for equity, for access, for inclusion, even though it looks like as a flower he was cut down, the spring has still been coming and we are reaping the benefits of his service. Oakwood University is in the business of giving birth to spring times of hope and aspirations and new starts. So take this proverb with you, take this saying with you, and if you ever feel discouraged, remember, you can cut down all the flowers, but you cannot stop the coming of the spring. Welcome to our enrollment showcase, and again, we want you to believe, to belong, and to be here at Oakwood University. May God bless you. Hi, I'm Sydney Reynolds. I'm an enrollment specialist here at Oakwood University. Hi there, I'm Richard Canales, and I am also an enrollment specialist here at Oakwood University. And we're here to tell you about three easy steps to go ahead and apply to be a student here at Oakwood University. The first step, you have to go to apply.oakwood.edu and fill out the simple application there on the website. Do keep in mind there is a portal where you can upload your transcripts, whether they be high school transcripts or college transcripts. As soon as you do that, just go ahead and hit submit. Also, we know that you have been through so much this year, and so because of that, we've gone ahead and we've waived your SAT and ACT scores for this upcoming semester. Number two, you want to go ahead and complete your FAFSA. You can do that by logging on to studentaid.gov. And the third and final step. There is something called an intent to enroll fee here. And check this out, if you pay that before July the 1st, Oakwood University is giving you a $1,000 early bird scholarship. There is nothing to lose. So go ahead and get that intent to enroll fee paid before July 1st and you'll go ahead and get that $1,000. And also, we look forward to seeing you in the fall. Maybe not and also. Hey, we look forward to seeing you in the fall. Absolutely.
In 1896, over 120 years ago, a small 360-acre farm in Huntsville, Alabama, with 65 oak trees, four buildings, and nine slave cabins, was purchased by the General Conference of Seventh-day Adventists. On November 16th, with a principal, three teachers, and 16 students, an institution was born, and the infant school was given the name Oakwood Industrial School. From the beginning, a specific philosophy of education was being hammered out to determine the best instructional program for preparing sons and daughters, grandsons and granddaughters of recently liberated slaves to live productive lives. Dominant influences on Oakwood's philosophy of education came from Ellen G. White, a prophetic voice of the Seventh-day Adventist sponsors, Booker T. Washington, president of Tuskegee University and its famed Head, Hand, and Heart program, and Samuel Armstrong, president of Hampton Institute, with a curriculum similar to Tuskegee's. All three models emphasized the combining of head, hand, and heart, while Ellen White underscored a fourth dimension, namely spiritual development. The chief challenge against hand or manual training came from the renowned voice of W.E. Dubois, who argued that blacks would progress faster, further, and more fully by receiving a head or intellectual education to become leaders, thinkers, politicians, economists, educators, and the like, rather than where he thought manual training would lead to work in factories, stores, self-employment, entrepreneurship, etc. While Dubois envisioned leadership and decision-making, Washington saw business ownership, development of technical skills, entrepreneurship, personal and financial independence. As academic offerings expanded and the number of students and staff increased, so did Oakwood undergo changes in its names. The school was first named Oakwood Industrial School from 1896 to 1904. Then it became known as the Oakwood Manual Training School from 1904 to 1917. Then the school was called the Oakwood Junior College from 1917 to 1945 and became Oakwood College from 1945 to 2008. On January 1, 2008, the institution was named Oakwood University. One of Oakwood's most historic moments came in July 1932 when J. L. Moran became its first African-American president. Not long thereafter, Owen Troy Jr. was appointed its first black business manager, now called the Vice President for Financial Administration. Then by 1934, Calvin Mosley became the first chairman of the Department of Religion, and in 1944, Dr. Eva B. Dykes resigned her position at Howard University in Washington, D.C. and joined the faculty of Oakwood. A graduate of Radcliffe College in 1921, Dr. Dykes was the first black female to complete requirements for her Ph.D. These historic firsts by Moran, Troy, Mosley, and Dykes all fit into the spirit of Black History Month. While formal institutional evaluations and endorsements have been implied to Oakwood from within the Seventh-day Adventist denomination, significant external evaluations and accreditations include accreditation as a junior college on January 15, 1943 from the Southern Association of Colleges and Secondary Schools, accreditation as a four-year liberal arts institution on December 4, 1958 through 2018 from the Southern Association of Colleges and Schools, academic programs in business, nursing, nutrition and dietetics, social work and teacher education are accredited by their external regional bodies. 2018 finds Oakwood University a reputable liberal arts institution which has transitioned from being sponsored by the General Conference to being sponsored by the North American Division and offers a quality Christian education to approximately 1,700 students. The educational process is delivered by a faculty holding 67 doctoral degrees and 39 master's degrees. Oakwood offers bachelor's degrees in 52 academic fields and a master's degree in one field. Principal administrators during Oakwood's early pre-college years are Salone Jacobs in 1896, H.S. Shaw from 1897 to 1899, B.E. Nicola from 1899 to 1904, F.R. Rogers from 1904 to 1905, 
G. H. Baber from 1905 to 1906, W. J. Blake from 1906 to 1911, and Clarence J. Boyd from 1911 to 1917. Presidential administrators of Oakwood's college and university years are J. I. Beardsley from 1917 to 1923, James L. Moran 1932 to 1945, Frank L. Peterson 1945 to 1954, Garland J. Millette 1954 to 1963, Addison V. Pinckney, 1963 to 1966, Frank W. Hale, 1966 to 1971, Calvin B. Rock, 1971 to 1985, Emerson A. Cooper, interim president in 1985, Benjamin F. Reeves, 1985 to 1996, Delbert W. Baker, 1996 to 2010, Mervyn A. Warren, interim president from 2010 to 2011, and Leslie N. Pollard, 2011 to the present. And the motto lives on, enter to learn, depart to serve. Dr. Kenneth Lahing currently serves as the Dean of the School of Arts and Sciences. He also serves as a professor in the Department of Chemistry. Hello, I'm Dr. Kenneth Lahing, Dean of the School of Arts and Sciences here at Oakwood University. The School of Arts and Sciences is the largest school on campus with seven departments consisting of biology, chemistry, communications, English, mathematics, music, and psychology. We offer a variety of academic majors and multiple opportunities for success. As the academic core of Oakwood, the School of Arts and Sciences fosters educational excellence, intellectual inquiry and discovery, and unmatched access to a first-class education. With over 600 select students majoring and minoring in the arts, humanities, social and natural sciences, and an award-winning faculty, the school brims with intellectual and creative energy. From a freshman student's first day all the way through to graduation, the School of Arts and Sciences offers plenty to engage the curious, active mind. Classes, research, study abroad, visiting scholars, performances, internships, service to the community, there's always an exciting project or event to participate in. We strongly believe in the university's motto, enter to learn and the power to serve. And we are in a unique position to fulfill that for the open student. Join us and start your journey today. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the fall. Hi everybody, my name is Tony Graham. I'm the USM Senator for the School of Arts and Sciences for this upcoming school year. And today I'm here to tell you a little bit about what goes on in my department. So I'm in the Department of Chemistry and that is under the School of Arts and Sciences. And more specifically, I'm a biochemistry major. Under this Department of Chemistry, there are three main majors. There's chemical engineering, there's chemistry and there's biochemistry, all which would make great choices for you guys. In addition to this, we have a couple of clubs. My favorite club is the Journal Club because it allows us to dive deep and learn how to read and comprehend scientific journals so that when we go to the next level, we'll be able to do that effectively. And that's one thing I love. Um, a typical day for me basically looks like class in the morning, whether it be math classes, science classes, because I'm a STEM major, that's when most of them happen. Um, and in the afternoons, possibly labs or general education classes like gen eds, like psych for me as a gen ed, maybe PE, physical education classes, nutrition, stuff like that it usually happens in the afternoon for me. Um, and later in the afternoon towards the evening, sometimes I may have research, sometimes I may have meetings for my clubs or for the USM. It really depends on the day, but that's what a typical day looks like for me. More morning classes and more more morning classes and labs in the afternoon and extracurriculars in the afternoon. Um, one thing I love about my department is that we're a family. Um, I don't know about other departments, but in my department, the teachers go above and beyond to ensure you know the work, you understand the work, and that you'll be able to reproduce the work when it comes to the next level. They make sure you know all of your options when it comes to career choices, and we just have a bond that's like inseparable there. 
So like the older students always looked out for the younger students. Like my older students, my seniors and the juniors, my freshman year always looked out for me. So that's one of the things that I liked. And that's hopefully I can pass that on to the next generation and what I do and looking out and mentoring these kids that are coming in this year. So that's a little bit about my department. So if you're looking to become a doctor or anything in the science field, please look into the Department of Chemistry. We'd love to have you a part of our family. Estee Marx and I have an English degree. I graduated from Oakwood University in 2014 and I will be graduating from medical school in 2019. Super exciting! <laughs> so a lot of people when they find out that I majored in English knowing that I was going to go into medicine, they ask why? And I get it. My answer then and now is that no matter what field you go into, you're going to need to know how to read and write and how to interpret data. So I definitely feel that my degree prepared me for all of that that I'm experiencing now. Also, I'm a writer and I will always be a writer just like I'll always be a physician. Recently, I published my very first children's book. Super, super exciting. My name is Shante Marie, and today I'm going to talk to you about three reasons why you should become an Oakwood English major. That's my friends, punny humor is not lost on you. You have the gift of language, and that is actually something to be celebrated. You might look a little corny sometimes, but I promise you, everyone in the English department is going to totally get you. You're an introspective, critical thinker, and that is a beautiful, beautiful thing. You don't take things for face value. You find the deeper meaning in them, and you write about them, and you share them with other people. And that is something to be valued. You are a creative person. Just in general, not just a writer. Like, everything you do is creative. So guys, if you enjoy punny humor, if you see the deeper meaning in things, or if you're a creative person struggling to find a niche to fit into, which this just in, you don't have to choose just one, congratulations, <laughs> you're already an English major.
My name is Eric W. Best Jr. and I'm from South Jersey. Well, I came to Oakwood because, first of all, I, I was in a public school in my life and I always wanted that spiritual aspect. I wanted to have friends that I can, you know, chill with on the weekend. So um, a lot of my, a few of my family members went to Oakwood and just hearing about the school and going to, to Alumni Weekend, I said, this is the school. I know, you know, this is where I should be to sing and just to have fun and experience that Christian fellowship. Before I came to Oakwood, it was Allegheny's conference and a camp meeting. And I talked to my cousin, I said, I want a story, you know, I want to know my purpose. I want God to, you know, use me. So in October, I get a call from my mom and my dad that my brother dies. And I, you know, it, it's devastating. And um, I go back home from the funeral and I'm like, no, I don't want to go back to school. I don't really like school. You know, I'll just stay home. But somehow I end up back here. I make it through and through the whole time, my, first, my freshman year, my sophomore year, I'm just, I'm going through depression, but I'm seeking God at the same time. You know, I'm like, God, you know, you're the only person I can call on, you know. I like talking to people, but they're not, they're not giving me the answer I need, so I'm looking for the answer in you. And I actually kind of relate this story to where God causes Moses to take off his sandals, you know, the presence of God. You know, he's up there in the mountains, it's uncomfortable. So sometimes God causes us to be uncomfortable in his presence. And that's what I was, my brother's death. So I'm very uncomfortable. But seeking God and, you know, crying in an hour, but singing the hymns and just praying to God, really, I, I saw his face. And in that, I found comfort and joy that no, nothing, nothing in the world could bring you. So literally just, just um, being weak and allowing God to be my strength in the time of sorrow and depression, is, he's only to bring me through that. Just having friends that can you rely on and just knowing your teachers as well, you know, all the professors in the chemistry department have been a blessing to me. Dr. Rim, Dr. Renatunga, Dr. Lahing, Ms. Jackson. Going through Oakwood, you learn how to have endurance and to maintain what you have. For me as a chemistry major, we're in a lab with instruments that you know aren't always the, the top of the line, but we learn how to work with them. When we graduate from this school and go to our other you know facilities, we already know how to struggle and we already have that perseverance, we have the grit to maintain, you know, when other people learn how to persevere through our struggles and our shortcomings. So when I graduate from Oakwood, I plan on working for the USGS Department of Interior for the Geological Survey. My dad is he was a chemistry major as well and he works for the Department of Interior. So I want to be an environmental scientist and at that I want to be a hydrologist, which study water. So going to wells and springs and just taking samples, taking it back to the lab and just having them tested. One word to sum up Oakwood. It'll be a journey. That's the word, it's a journey. I say it's a journey because, you know, sometimes you might fall short or you see, okay, you come here expecting to graduate in four years, but in that journey, you're gonna have some trials and some tribulations. It might be with friends, it might be with death in the family, it might be with academics itself, but you're gonna have something that makes you, that you need to draw closer to God with. And you know, while you're going along with your first year and second year and third year, you're growing. You are gonna grow in some way or another. By the time you reach the finish line, which is graduation, you look back over your four years, over your journey, and like, wow, I see how I've grown tremendously, and that's something but the grace of God and the glory to Him. I am Eric Bess, and this is my Oakwood story.
My name is Gregory Roper. I'm an applied mathematics and electrical engineering alum. I am Oakwood University. Hi, I am Tamara Young, an alumna of Oakwood University and a parent of a graduating senior. I am a strong believer of Adventist education and I have dedicated over 15 years to this great work. As the Assistant Vice President for Enrollment Services, I oversee recruitment, admissions, financial aid, and the Registrar's Office. In a nutshell, we seek out young people with dreams of amazing careers and spiritual gifts that can be described as genius and help them find ways to obtain an affordable college education because an education shouldn't break the bank. Now you see why I love my job, because every student deserves to have the Oakwood experience. I invite you to join our Zoom sessions each evening for an hour of vital information for students and parents. You will have the opportunity to meet your admissions and financial service advisors, along with the faculty from your academic department of choice. Our team is excited for you to believe, belong, and be here in fall 2020. You can afford a quality faith-based education with Oakwood's Care Work Scholarship Program. As an eligible freshman, Care can lower your educational debt about 66% and give you career-focused experience. In four years, you're going to graduate with marketable skills and then no more than $10,000 in loans, or about one-third the average students. Believe, belong, be here. Ask your OU enrollment specialist about the Care Program today. and I majored in biology pre-medicine with a minor in analytical chemistry. And I'm an current alumnus of, of Oakwood and I am Oakwood University. The Education Department aim is to shape the communications professionals of tomorrow by providing a synergistic learning experience that combines spiritual awareness, theoretical grounding, and practical application, thus enabling our students to successfully compete in today's marketplace. Students in communication are prepared for professional careers in broadcasting, journalism, and public relations, or for media-related positions in education and industry. Communication occurs all around you. Your words, your actions, your attitudes, and your beliefs all communicate something about you. Oakwood University's communication department not only focuses on the professional applications of what is taught, but the spiritual as well. We are able to spread our message to reach people far and wide. The teachers continually instill spiritual applications that help prepare us to face the working world. With God First, the communication department brings students who have entered to learn and are prepared to depart and serve. Oakwood University is where you need to be. This is Jason Ferdinand, and I'm wearing my Aeolian hat today. Oh, nut. And uh, we want to welcome you with open arms. We have our Aeolians, we have our university core, and you'll be enriched, you will be involved. So you need to believe, you need to belong, and you need to be here.
I'm Sydney Reynolds. I'm an enrollment specialist here at Oakwood University. Hi there. I'm Richard Canales, and I am also an enrollment specialist here at Oakwood University. And we're here to tell you about three easy steps to go ahead and apply to be a student here at Oakwood University. The first step, you have to go to apply.oakwood.edu and fill out the simple application there on the website. Do keep in mind there is a portal where you can upload your transcripts, whether they be high school transcripts or college transcripts. As soon as you do that, just go ahead and hit submit. Also, we know that you have been through so much this year, and so because of that, we've gone ahead and we've waived your SAT and ACT scores for this upcoming semester. Number two, you want to go ahead and complete your FAFSA. You can do that by logging on to studentaid.gov. And the third and final step. There is something called an intent to enroll fee here. And check this out. If you pay that before July the 1st, Oakwood University is giving you a $1,000 early bird scholarship. There is nothing to lose. So go ahead and get that intent to enroll fee paid before July 1st, and you'll go ahead and get that $1,000. And also, we look forward to seeing you in the fall. Maybe not, and also. Hey, we look forward to seeing you in the fall. Absolutely. President Pollard stated in 2011 that his vision for 2020 was that Oakwood would return to its roots and recover its industries. Industries that would make higher education affordable for any student who desires to attend Oakwood. 
Oakwood University currently owns and operates two edible arrangement stores, Oakwood Memorial Garden Cemetery, Oakwood Farms, and Oakwood Farms Market, focused on supporting our students with scholarship opportunities. Oakwood Farms Market celebrates its grand opening on Wednesday, June 24th. So tell me who you are and where you're from. Uh, my name is Trey Simons and I'm from the beautiful island of Bermuda. Well, okay. And tell me, what are you doing on this campus? What classification are you? Um, I'm a junior and I'm currently studying psychology and theology. I am in the Valley of Decision right now. Actually, I'd rather I want to just study theology by itself. I have been doing this prayer walk. God has been showing himself in ways that were just like, I never would have thought I would have seen this in my lifetime. People have been healed. People have been breaking down, crying. It's just like, it's just so amazing. I have been broken down like at least three times because of God's goodness. So tell me three things about yourself most people don't know. Even though my name's Trey, I'm the oldest child, I'm not the third. I have two sets of parents. I have a mother and a stepfather. Um, and then I have a stepmother and a father, and also my stepfather, he is the father of DP. Wait a minute, who's your father? Oh, uh, son. I went to school <laughs> with him! My favorite type of weather is fall weather. So. Huh. So is this good for you? I'm bundled up. <laughs> this is, it, it gets too cold sometimes. My favorite type of weather is from like 60s to 70s. Yeah, this is 32. It's a little chilly. <laughs> this isn't fall weather at all. I like fall weather even though I'm from the islands. Got you. Okay, so tell me what you do for your health. For my health? For your health. You know, that thing that keeps mm. you alive. Okay, um, it's funny though. I've recently taken up fasting and praying, relying on God for my strength. And, um, People say that you know it's something about you that looks like that looks different ever since you started. And um, honestly, I've just been relying on God for my strength and also like along with my physical strength, um, my spiritual strength, just been relying on Him. Like it's been crazy how much He's been like revealing to me. So your spiritual walk mm -hmm. is affecting you mentally, physically, and spiritually. Yes, and it's affecting other people too. In order to stay connected with USM and the student body and up to date with all of the events going on, be sure to follow us on social media at OU underscore USM. We can't wait to see you. Hey, I'm Kari Dixon. I'm a junior public relations major and the United States Movement Public Relations Director. Um, my favorite part about the Oakwood experience is definitely the creative environment. Um, a lot of people come to Oakwood just assuming it's just a singing school and that if you aren't a part of a choir, you don't really fit in. But in my experience, I found that it's not the case. Oakwood is definitely a school of a lot of creatives from artists, poets, photographers, and filmmakers, entrepreneurs, and so much more. Um, whatever your niche or whatever your interest is, you are sure to find creative individuals you can surround yourself with who will journey with you through this Oakwood experience and support you in your creative endeavors. Um, as PR director, my job is mostly behind the scenes, managing social platforms, advertising USM social events, and maintaining an open line of communication between the students. 
Um, but every now and then the PR team can create really creative initiatives such as photo shoots, um, video shoots, and graphic design elements. So consider joining the PR team this year where you have a lot of creative initiatives that we're looking to do this year and I look forward to seeing you in the fall. My name is Patrick Miner, mathematics major alum. I am Oakwood University. I'm Sydney Reynolds. I'm an enrollment specialist here at Oakwood University. Hi there. I'm Richard Canales, and I am also an enrollment specialist here at Oakwood University. And we're here to tell you about three easy steps to go ahead and apply to be a student here at Oakwood University. The first step, you have to go to apply.oakwood.edu and fill out the simple application there on the website. Do keep in mind there is a portal where you can upload your transcripts, whether they be high school transcripts or college transcripts. As soon as you do that, just go ahead and hit submit. Also, we know that you have been through so much this year, and so because of that, we've gone ahead and we've waived your SAT and ACT scores for this upcoming semester. Number two, you want to go ahead and complete your FAFSA. You can do that by logging on to studentaid.gov. And the third and final step. There is something called an intent to enroll fee here. And check this out. If you pay that before July the 1st, Oakwood University is giving you a $1,000 early bird scholarship. There is nothing to lose. So go ahead and get that intent to enroll fee paid before July 1st, and you'll go ahead and get that $1,000. And also, we look forward to seeing you in the fall. Maybe not and also. Hey, we look forward to seeing you in the fall. Absolutely. You can afford a quality faith-based education with Oakwood's Care Work Scholarship Program. As an eligible freshman, Care can lower your educational debt about 66% and give you career-focused experience. In four years, you're going to graduate with marketable skills and then no more than $10,000 in loans, or about one-third the average students. Believe, belong, be here. Ask your OU enrollment specialist about the Care Program today. My name is Ashley and we're students at Oakwood University. Hola, mi nombre es Tiara y nosotros somos estudiantes en la Universidad de Oakwood. And we want you to come to Oakwood University. Y nosotros queremos que ustedes vengan a Oakwood University. Woo! You guys to know that we're here for you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Look at what's happening. Yeah. And we come together, we're gonna make the change. Our right to privacy is important. So I feel as if though we should have someone that we can speak to and make us comfortable. We want change. We want change.
I know that God is looking down on us right now what we're doing. I think that consistency is something that we can try and kind of um, make more of the forefront of the disciplinary process. We've accomplished something today, but our work is not done yet. Believe, belong, be here. I wish I knew more about um, how independent it is and how you do have to manage your time. One thing I wish I knew before coming to Oakwood is how to manage time more wisely than what I have been doing. I wish I knew how to budget before I came to college. Um, before I came to Oakwood University, I kind of wish that I would have known <laughs> the seriousness of knowing who I am as a person and taking my religion and my like relationships with people seriously. Like I wish I would have known myself more before I came here, like understanding how I interact with people. What do I wish I knew before I came to college? There are so many things I wish I knew. The main thing though would be time management. What I wish I knew before I came to college is people telling me how to prioritize my time. People told me like to prioritize my time, but people didn't tell me how to. Was to save up as much money as I could, okay? I should have came here rolling $200, $300, but that was not the case. So I wish I, I knew that finding a job would not be as easy, so I should have came here with a lot of money. What I would tell my younger self is that there's value in who you are just as you are. 
Hi, I'm Sydney Reynolds. I'm an enrollment specialist here at Oakwood University. Hi there, I'm Richard Canales, and I am also an enrollment specialist here at Oakwood University. And we're here to tell you about three easy steps to go ahead and apply to be a student here at Oakwood University. The first step, you have to go to apply.oakwood.edu and fill out the simple application there on the website. Do keep in mind there is a portal where you can upload your transcripts, whether they be high school transcripts or college transcripts. As soon as you do that, just go ahead and hit submit. Also, we know that you have been through so much this year, and so because of that, we've gone ahead and we've waived your SAT and ACT scores for this upcoming semester. Number two, you want to go ahead and complete your FAFSA. You can do that by logging on to studentaid.gov. And the third and final step. There is something called an intent to enroll fee here. And check this out, if you pay that before July the 1st, Oakwood University is giving you a $1,000 early bird scholarship. There is nothing to lose. So go ahead and get that intent to enroll fee paid before July 1st and you'll go ahead and get that $1,000. And also, we look forward to seeing you in the fall. Maybe not and also. Hey, we look forward to seeing you in the fall. Absolutely. Searching for knowledge made me realize what I wanted to do was always be learning stuff. The energy is amazing. You just see all the brain power going, but there's also this vibe of friendship too. I'm always inspired by new students and their goals, their dreams, their missions. I'm always inspired to hear what my fellow alums are doing and cheering their successes on, and it helps me to dream bigger. The Honda Campus All-Star Challenge is an academic competition of historically black colleges and universities from all over the nation. We really believe in the important role that HBCUs play in terms of education, and we're really proud to be a part of it. I think I'm very Honda Power of Dreams. It relates to not only achieving our own dreams, but uh, helping others achieve their dreams too. It, it is very unique, and that's what attracts me back every year and Burton's soup taxation on salt. Got me! Yes. I like the competition, I like meeting new people, and I like always having something new to strive towards learning and knowing. People who enjoy knowledge, enjoy competition, enjoy challenging each other and having a good time doing it. That network of scholars and leaders I think is important to have as we graduate and continue on. We produce a huge number of teachers, doctors, lawyers, engineers uh, from some of the finest institutions with great historical legacies. And the Honda Campus All-Star Challenge highlights that, it showcases it. So we want people to realize you can achieve anything as a result of attending an HBCU. Perfect. Good. Handle the bonus. But knowledge is power. And when people know that history, it gives them this powerful sense of self and they can anticipate their greatness as they move into the future. And then when we graduate out, we come back, we volunteer, we help mentor the next generation of players. Watching all of these students from HBCUs from all over the country, I'm excited because I know that I'm, I'm going to hear success stories from them. And I know that because I'm hearing the success stories from the alumni. Germany and Russia. Poland? Yes. The function and diseases of blood. Hematology. Yes. You've scored 290 points, but that is not enough to overcome the lead of Oakwood University, who is our 2017 national champion. The idea that uh, any one of them uh, surely will be successful, but how do we make it so that they understand how to work together as, as a team, as they've done here? Not just the four from each institution, but all 48 institutions, young people working together uh, to make great things happen. I think if they get that out of this experience, the idea that teamwork makes the dream work, that it, that it brings more to the table, I think our country uh, has a very bright future. Yo, what's up? It's your boy, E.T. Look, many of you may know me as the number one motivational speaker in the world, or perhaps as one of the top influencers in this generation. But what you don't know is that I'm a high school dropout, homeless, lived in abandoned buildings, and Oakwood College gave me my first shot. That's right, I'm a proud graduate and alumni of Oakwood College. Oakwood taught me, even though my father wasn't in my life, and even though I got kicked out of school, to believe in myself. It was at Oakwood that I figured figured out that I belonged. That's right, that I was a royal priesthood in a chosen generation. It was at Oakwood that I married 
uh, my wife, that's right, of 30 years. It was at Oakwood that I learned how to speak. It was at Oakwood that I learned the importance of entering to learn and departing to serve. So everything I've done from the NFL to the NBA, uh, corporate America, traveled the world, commercials, it all started at Oakwood. So if you're looking to make the rest of your life, the best of your life, try Oakwood. It helped me. I know it'll help you. To learn about your department of interest and have your admissions questions answered, go to www.oakwood.edu to join today's Zoom sessions.